What's up guys, Milma here and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. Uh, this is a basic Xcode tutorial on UI alert views and uh, how you generate them and basically all about them. Um, so without further ado, I'll create a new Xcode project. View based for iPhone will be fine. And I'm going to call it alert view. Save that to my desktop. Okay, now I'm going to make full screen and go into my classes and dot h. Now, uh, oh wait, sorry, no, we don't even need any outlets at all or any actions because we're going to generate the alert view via code because that's the only way you can do it um, because there's no nothing in Interface Builder for it. Um, so go into the dot m instead. Uh, find the view did load method. You can also make an action to uh, to ge generate the alert view as well, but it's up to you. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the view did load method. Um, so ungreen that and go inside the view did load method, but above the super view did load, and press enter a couple of times. And now we're going to create our alert. So first of all, we need to create an instance of it and name it, and then we need to kind of put our information inside the alert view. Um, so start with it's going to be UI alert view star so naming it now um, and we're just going to call ours test alert like that then you go space equals space open two square brackets now we're going to uh, um, alloc it to give it some memory uh, so it was UI alert view alloc oops alloc like that close one square bracket now space and now we're gonna put stuff inside it so to do that you go in it with and then it should create this whole long line of code here just press enter and uh, now what this means in it with title meaning what title is it gonna be so what, what what do you want the title of the alert to be and that can be a string and a string is also text um, and if you don't know what strings are then you can check my tutorial out on my channel um, so we'll just put at quotes and then we'll just type in our text so it's going to be test um, now press enter to get our message um, and in here again it's going to be another string Oops, it's going to be another string um, and that can be the message the main body of the uh, alert um, so that can just be hello world how are you? Um, question. And then close the square, uh, not the square bracket, sorry, close the uh, quotes, uh, then press enter. And the delegate can be self. Um, then press enter again. And the cancel button title is the t button that's going to cancel the thing. I mean, it, there's no difference between cancel button and other button. It's just the cancel button uh, has a different texture to it and it looks slightly more bold. So, uh, yeah. So this can, can be bad because it's the cancel button. So if they feel bad, they're going to press that button. Uh, and then um, the other button titles can be good because... Uh, wait, no. We'll have OK and then space comma to do another button and then it's going to be good uh, and then space nil close square brackets and then semicolon um, so basically what we've done here we've created a UI alert we've called it test alert we've uh, allocated it and then we've put stuff inside it using this method here the init with title method um, and then we've declared each of these things using text um, by putting an at sign then two quotation marks and whatever's inside the quotation marks is what the text is going to be um, and then with the other button titles you can have as many of them as you want uh, but it gets a bit crowded if you have over three so three is about maximum I suppose um, and then you always declare it with a nil at the end because that means no more to come um, and now we need to show our alert so we need to tell it to pop up on the screen um, so to do that we can press enter again and for open square bracket now put in the name of our alert which was test alert here so we'll do test alert space show 
close square brackets semicolon and now we're going to go test alert release just to release the memory we gave it using the alloc method um, so there you go guys a quick tutorial there um, no need to go in interface builder because it's generated all here this is generating the alert um, so let's just build and run and see our alert and here's our simulator here and the alert should pop up straight away uh, so here you go and as you can see here's our alert and uh, like I said uh, three buttons does crowd it up a bit so uh, you know no more than three would probably be the best one and uh, like I said the cancel button title here bad has a different kind of texture to it and it's spaced away from the others uh, it still does exactly the same thing but um, you know it just looks different um, so there you go guys quick tutorial on alert views and how you use them um, they can be used for getting attention or for doing stuff um, like actions uh, so in the next tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make these buttons here actually do something uh, because at the moment if I click a button any button it will just get rid of the alert view but next tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use those buttons so that it will change something on the screen or do something um, so stay tuned for that link will be in the description and uh, see you in my next tutorial